I'm going to begin with you, uh, Misha. I just wanted to ask, of course, you know, it's not just fun, I'm sure, to be around Vince Vaughn anyway, unusual on a film set. But it must be particularly fun to be around Vince Vaughn when he's channeling his inner teenage girl. Absolutely. I mean, Vince Vaughn is, he's such a, <laughs> Vince is a really experienced comedian and he's such an experienced improviser. So you never know what he's going to throw at you. And sometimes it's a blessing and sometimes that's a little, oh shit moment. Um, but it's, um, it, it's, it's amazing because Vince Vaughn really was able to bring, so he studied that character. He very much like brought it to life and he was always trying new things with his hair and the run and it's to, to be around that kind of energy. So it's honestly just creatively fulfilling to see somebody try so many different ways into a character. Yeah, and because, I mean, Celeste, there's a scene where he has to convince you both that he is actually your friend. So he has to say things about your friendships and stuff that only you guys would know. If you, what would, what would you have to hear for you to believe that someone else was, was your friend? What, what sort of things would they say that only you would know? <laughs> I definitely, I think that, that uh, Chris and Michael Kennedy, the writers, did a really good job with this scene because I think my first questions would be like, you're like, favorite movies your I think a big one is who is your crush right now because that's like something that like you know only the BFFs would know especially in high school so those those were really good questions <laughs> well because you guys didn't get to swap bodies in the movie but I want to I want to check to see how well you both know each other um so what I'm going to do I want to ask you questions to answer on the other's behalf just to see if you to see how well you see how I've got to know each other on the set. So I'm going to begin with you, Celeste. So obviously you got to work very closely with Vince Vaughn in this movie. But what's Misha's favourite Vince Vaughn film? Misha's favourite Vince Vaughn film is Swingers because they have uh, apparently gone on uh, multiple dates where the date wanted to watch Swingers. So that's <laughs> a little detail in there for y'all. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Celeste is correct. And, and Misha, what would what was Celeste's least favorite scene to shoot in this film? I would say Celeste's least favorite scene to shoot was when we were on location in that actual dirty, grimy, cold, wet warehouse, and it was approximately four a.m. and none of us could feel our fingers or our toes. Oh my God, you're so correct. <laughs> <laughs> So Celeste, obviously the murderer has found his victim, unfortunately, but he allows Misha one final meal. What is Misha going to eat? <laughs> Misha is going to eat like, okay, like a, a vegan gluten-free pizza with like a celery and peanut butter on the side. Was that so right? Not, so she couldn't be more correct. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> Misha, if, if Celeste could swap bodies with any famous celebrity, who would she go for? Honestly, honestly, just for the glamour and the amazingness of it all, probably Miss Viola Davis. Yeah. So you guys got to know each other quite well then, it seems. <laughs> we did. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, you're, well, I was like, but Misha, I'll go, come to you. I mean, that, that shows it, what a great fun set this must have been. Because it is on those movies. I, it's so much fun to watch as a viewer, which often comes from the fact that you can tell people having fun making it. Was that the case for this film? It just, I got a real sense that everyone was just having the time of their lives, really. You're absolutely correct. You know, Vince Vaughn put it best. There was a day when Catherine was really real. Catherine and Alan Ruck were really the only ones on set working on, you know, Alan Ruck's infamous chainsaw scene. And uh, Vince came to set me and Celeste stopped by and Vince kind of turns and looks at all the actors that have shown up, even though none of us are shooting anything that day. And Vince says, this is the sign of a good movie. You know, a set is fun when actors show up, even when they're not shooting something. I'm like, that's true. It was a really fun time. It was a very family environment. Yeah, I bet, bet they went and showed up to the set on Swingers, even if they weren't shooting, because you know that would have had that sort of vibe as well. <laughs> Correct. It, it, that seems it. it, seems it. And, um, so my final question, I was going to ask you, Celeste, obviously the, the characters, um, yeah, they have to believe, sorry, that their friend uh, Millie is is their friend. Uh, so when you were sort of working opposite Vince and you, you had to believe that Vince was playing uh, Millie or being Millie, did you almost have to imagine in that moment that you were opposite um, Millie, are you opposite Catherine as well? Is that, in, in, the, in the scene, did you have to forget in some ways that was Vince Vaughn? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And Vince did an amazing job with that, with actually convincing us that this was our friend that was stuck in the serial killer's body. I think, I think really what did it for me was the little, uh, was the little dance. <laughs> little like <laughs> booty shake I was like all right there's no way a serial killer would know this dance 
or do it in front of us right now. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time. So I love the film. I'm hoping you never know there could be another one. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank Cheers. you Take so much. Bye -bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!